New details tonight after a tire and auto repair shop in South St. Louis County is destroyed by fire. Yeah, the extreme cold presented several challenges for first responders. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with a look at the damage. Jeff? Yeah, we've heard from people here who have a real uh, uh, feeling for this uh, business owner hoping that he can uh, somehow rebound from this. It's a total loss. We'll give you a look at the damage here. It's at Max Tire and Auto. Melville firefighters say a car inside the shop caught fire with all the other tires and materials here. That fire spread quickly. Nick Chosich recorded this video as the fire was roaring. The whole Max Auto and Tire Service was just in flames. Piles of tires helped fuel a fire that did not want to be extinguished. So I kept dumping so much water into it and just didn't seem to go out. Traffic on Tesson Ferry was detoured for more than two hours as firefighters faced multiple challenges. Well, first of all, we want to make sure that all the occupants have escaped, which they had, and then just the amount of fire. And uh, by the time they got there, the power lines were already burned away from the structure, so that adds another element of risk. No one was injured, but the damage is extensive and the extreme cold created additional hazards. The temperature was dropping as we were there. We'll upgrade it to another alarm. So this one went to a second alarm and that brought in uh, units from Fenton and Saline Valley. And we just used the extra staffing and personnel to uh, reinforce our positions. So we went through thousands of gallons of water and we brought some salt out to make sure it was safe for our crews and any, anybody else that had to work the scene. Melville has a firehouse across the street, but that crew was out on a call when the fire started. When they got there, they had found that the fire was advanced and the building was fully consumed. Nearby business owner Nick Patterson credited first responders for preventing the fire from spreading and is relieved to hear no one was injured. Definitely could have hurt a lot of people, you know. Someone could have been under a car, something could have happened, explosion, could have got trapped, could have been even worse. Now, the fire department uh, did not find anything suspicious here. They are classifying this as a, an accidental fire. But again, the business appears to be a total loss. Reporting live from South St. Louis County, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.